day three of vlogtober and we are helping my girl do a basic makeup routine now i'm not a makeup professional but i do know a little something because i do my makeup every time i make content for instagram facebook tiktok just in general first things first my dear we're gonna start off using a moisturizer did you watch my video my youtube video i didn't see you can't help people who don't want to help themselves if you're gonna teach me right now in this video no i, I, I told you, you yesterday to watch the video though Oh, yeah. and the people can you didn't you didn't watch my video we are in the car because i just feel like we're not at home right now we're displaced because of the hurricane and i just feel like the lighting is natural lighting right here and i don't know i like when ac is blowing on my face while i'm doing my makeup and i don't have my little fan so that's the reason for the car not too much on us it's the same routine whether we're in the car or in the house i did get this from a makeup class that i went to recently and i will link this in the description box it is basically a traveling mirror that you can use i got it during the huda beauty makeup class they have a little button right here you turn it on and it's like lights camera action so just in case these little mirrors up here aren't enough for her we will be sharing this little mirror right here so i think it has like different settings too it can go from i don't know if you can tell but you can switch the tones and yeah, we're going to start off with some moisturizer gel we are going to be using the i n and the n beauty i think that's what it's called don't worry everything will be linked accordingly Go ahead and put this in your camera. She's also filming a reel, y'all. You want to do a voiceover? I'm going to do a voiceover, yep. Okay, period. So back it out just a little bit so you can see the the whole thing and then you want to turn it, yeah. Maybe you want to start off like this yeah. and then take the top off. So it's like people like a video that starts off with some type of movement. That's how you get their attention. Put that in y'all notes, period. Normally, people can use primer as the moisturizer, but Benda, I have like dry skin around my nose. Don't you have dry skin around your nose? used to i don't know how i became this uh vaseline monkey oh well she has oily oilier skin so she might be good with just the problem but me my face gets a little dry that's why i love a, a good matte look so i'm not mad at it but i am gonna put a little bit of moisturizer before i put my primer on i'm gonna get near and friend the girly said they want a skincare routine but i told them you don't even have one you use like minimal products i use two products but i'll give you guys one yeah mm -hmm. good skin is just good skin y'all okay she got way better skin than me because baby the hormonal acne on me is a hot mess but we're gonna get it together because i bought some products and i need to change how i'm eating but don't worry Ooh. winter is coming we're gonna let this ac hit our face a little bit just so we're not caking on product you want it to set in now that we've let the air blow on our moisturizer i'm gonna go in i'm we're using two different primers yesterday when we did our makeup haul she went with the oil sucker because like she said she don't like looking shiny and oily so this is an mm -hmm. extreme mattifying alkaline primer this is going to help my girl have a more matte look i'm using the easy blur primer by huda beauty honestly i can go either route because i'm only i feel like i'm only dry around my nose area um I think I have like a neutral skin. I'm not oily and I'm not too dry up here. I automatically give a, a matte vibe. Secure the Glow by One Size is really good for the girlies who have a more um, dry skin. But this also, I started using this when I took the class and it works like a charm as well. So I think I'm just going to go in with the Secure the Blur because we're going shopping after this, y'all. So we need, when I go shopping, I like to look how I'm going to look when I have the outfits on. I feel like that helps me pick out what I'm going to buy. So that's another reason why I like having a neutral type of B. I'm not doing too much. I'm doing eyebrows, concealer, and a little tinted moisturizer. We're not doing too much. No, never not do too much. Cause see, I like to look um, what's it? Natural. Mm-hmm. Natural. Because I'm not really a makeup girly. I, I just feel like since I'm about to be in these cameras, you know, every day. Period. You I need wanna to get look a, like somebody. Let's give them something, something to talk about. Talking mm -hmm. all right put your primer on girl <laughs> and listen the point of the primer is to get tacky on your skin so don't just throw this on and then automatically go into doing your makeup you want to make sure the primer gets tacky so the makeup has something to stick to that's the point of a primer so every okay. time you do your makeup mm -hmm. primer honey otherwise your makeup gonna be runny so when i put this primer on it's going all over my face right um i would just put it in i do my hot spots um, okay you don't need don't don't make it don't put it on like a layer of makeup you you start at the cheek i start at the cheekbone go down underneath the eye a little bit and finish off at the forehead it don't need to be like perfect fix your lip in the camera because you're giving i'm what i'm giving you, you giving you ain't got no teeth <laughs> it's giving 
uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog. Oh, wow. What is her name? You ain't watched that show. But the lady, the old lady name, she was always causing problems or going missing. And we're just going to let this sit until it gets a little tacky. Yeah, I need to put some on my forehead. Yeah, wherever you want the makeup, wherever your makeup might move, you want to make sure you have primer there on my cheeks. Because I be hating looking at my phone and be looking like it's made up. My, my cell phone? Mm -hmm. You need to blend it though. Smear it out. I need to wash my hair. At least the hairline. What you want to do my hair? No, ma'am. Now, next up, y'all, is color corrector. But I'm not doing all that today. I feel like you can do color corrector if you're doing, like, a whole beat down. But like I said, this is going to be a basic makeup routine for my girl. So she can have somewhere to start. Um, mm -hmm. This is the color corrector I would use. It's by Huda Beauty. In the shade of uh, Peach. Let me turn off the AC just so y'all can hear me. Because sometimes when the AC be blowing, it sounds muffled. But yeah, we're not going to use color corrector. You can if you want to. We're going to hop right in. Well, I'm going to start off with my eyebrows. I like to start off doing my eyebrows. What eyebrow pencil did you buy? I'm using the NYX Cosmetics Micro Brow Pencil and Espresso. I use all kinds of eyebrow pencils. I'm not loyal to, to any eyebrow pencil. I use what I have at the moment, as you should too. And um, I'm using Benefit. Yeah, I like Benefit Brow um, in, a, in the shade number five. So show your camera the number five. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. You need to watch first, cause okay. I I don't like my eyebrows looking too full. It needs to be like, well see, yeah, I, don't, I don't want no McDonald arches and I don't want no thick piece of rub on my forehead well i know but right. you need to make yours match you need to do swipes you don't need to color your that, eyebrows that's the thing yeah i don't want to color nothing see i be looking at other people's eyebrows i be like oh i don't like how like it's painted like you done went a to, sharp to, to miss artist class and got you a sharpie you done it do be looking like, like it's a that. sharpie but yeah. you need to pull that down i'm gonna give you my mirror so okay. they can see you do your okay. eyebrows mm. but like i said we're gonna do i like to outline just a little bit so i can have my natural shape and I, I do like little swatches. And I hold the end of the stick so it's not too heavy. When you start holding it down here, that's when you start pressing into it and it begins to look like Helga Pataki. Oh, wow. I don't want to do like that. Yeah, we don't, want, no, we don't want nothing to do with Helga. Mm -hmm. I do like little swatches. I outline and then I add little swipes. These are the swipes I'm talking about to make it look more hair-like and natural. You can raise your eyebrow. If you want like a little arch, then I take the end, the brush, and then I go up. And this is for a natural beat. This is not me doing no eyeshadow or nothing. So go ahead. Here you go. Let's see how she does, people. That check me out. <laughs> She's taking off her eyebrow, y'all, because it was a little too thick. I told her to do... So I, look, so I, I need to start the line right here. I start... Because I don't... Because I want this to look a little light. And then this is look... You, you're going to do all that with the concealer. I like to... When I'm filling in my eyebrow, I start wherever my hairs are. I don't do nothing underneath my hair. Because then it just looks too thick. So right here. Unnatural. Turn this, turn this way. No, I wouldn't even... I don't start all the way in the front. When I'm... Like right here. This one's saying right here. That's still too far up. That's that's gonna make your eyebrow look like sharper. You need to start like right here, where are almost where your arch is. You see my see my thing at right here? I can't see. Yeah, but you need to that looks like it's not even on your hair. You need to start where the hair is at. Look how you just put a dot on your skin and not your hair. Yeah, see, I don't like this brush. My other brush made me think I'm a I'm a whole I'm a whole uh makeup artist, that other brush I use. Cause you're not using the pointy part, you're using the flat no, part. No, I, I like mine to look like you. See how this look? It's like a diamond. Yeah, but I'm just showing you how to use this. This is so that if you're in a rush, you fill it in real quick. The pointy part is if you want to make strokes. Use the pointy part. You should not be using the flat part. And when I do the outline, I, I stroke it. I don't go just across you. So I'm going to start right here. The only reason why I be starting up here is because I, can, I, can, I really want to start right here and I, and I wipe this off. And mm -hmm. I go over. Because that be making it looking sharpie. I ain't going to hold you. It right. be giving sharp. And I can't stand when the girlies make their eyebrows. Unless their eyebrows naturally look like that. My eyebrows are naturally thin in the front. So Mine actually thin on, on the side. So I need to start right here. Let me see. Did you raise your eyebrow? No. You should raise your eyebrow. Because it looks like your liner is 
going into your eye. So right the here. end of it like is not correct. I raise my eyebrow when I do mine. It's like a doop and it should go this way. It shouldn't look like the liner coming down here. Some of you can clean up with concealer, but I don't want to be using a ton of concealer if this is just a natural right. everyday makeup routine. The eyebrows are the most important to a natural makeup routine. Let me see what you got going on. I don't know what it is. Turn, look, look, like, look like you're looking in the back seat so I can see the side. Not filling the eyebrows. Try to use my pencil. Yeah, the cause see, yeah this one, okay, I'm going to finish with this one, but that one. I think that's more beginner friendly. That one is the point is made like that. It's is more beginner friendly, so I can tell the folks that. She's gonna use my eyebrow pencil just because that one seems a little too thick, mm -hmm. and it's giving Sharpie Helga Pataki. All right, y'all. This is the one with the thick behind uh, benefit brow, and I was like, no. So she's gonna wipe that one off. This is the one with the NYX Cosmetics espresso and all she needs to do is clean that one up so we will be returning this because how much you pay for this like 26 dollars. yeah if it's 26 dollars is the same thing as a hundred dollars to me baby at, at, at this day and age so we will be going back to return this because she's not gonna use this um i feel like this is for someone who has a much thicker eyebrow she does not um and this one actually looks better look in the camera that's the uh, NYX cosmetic and that one is the Helga Pataki. Yeah. I feel like eyebrows are the most important part they are, of your I, makeup. Because if I can perfect my eyebrows I'll do a full face with concealer, a little blush and eyebrow. Lashes got to be on though. Can't be looking like Ain't a no turtle. point in having on all that makeup with no lashes. Right. Can't be looking like a turtle. A snake. <laughs> These are the eyebrows that we have so far. Fran, show them your eyebrows. Period. This is the good one. This one, that one, I don't like. Yeah, I don't take, like this one at take, all. Take, did you redo it? No, you. I was gonna redo it after you did yours. Girl, and I was showing people that eyebrow. That eyebrow look a fool. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like I put some paint up. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> girl. Please take that off. Here, here's the eyebrow pencil right here. While she fixing that eyebrow, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead on and clean up my eyebrows. You told me I'm gonna give you this mirror when you when you finish. You had the mirror the whole time. I did. Yes, I just took the mirror back from you. Lord have mercy. Use me. Please fix that. You like you eat children, <laughs> but I want them, and I have. Is that your baby? That's exactly what you look like. I'm gonna be going in with my concealer to clean up underneath my eyebrows. I use two different concealers for my eyebrow. When people put the concealer at the top and it's the same color as the concealer that they use at the bottom, it looks a mess to me. It looks more drag queenish. So I'm gonna use Toasted Almond by Huda Beauty only for underneath my eyebrow. I want to give the people something to talk about. Where I like to multi-use my brushes. I don't be buying a thousand different brushes. I'm not that kind of gal. And like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. So I don't see why I should have to do all that anyway. Go in with a little bit. And of course, a blend down, child. Blend down. What concealer are you using? I'm using Fenty. In the shade of 420 here use this this is a small angled brush and this is good for you know when you want to be precise with something and the eyebrows is the most precise thing during a makeup routine so let's give them something to talk about make sure you raise your eyebrows when you do it so it can look like um it's probably why i got the fine lines on my forehead too you, you didn't arch it it looked like you missing you missing a whole piece turn let me let me show the people on the camera so they know what not to do hold on you look like you turned too far um, back, let, me, back let, me, up. let me stop this right here you did not go up you need to go up and down it's like a whole black area right here that needs to be taken off with okay teacher I'm just saying, cause that's why people be looking like their eyebrows is going into their eyelashes yeah but we learning this this is learning that's why I'm saying it Charlene don't get offended. And no, you, your I, line I, is crooked. Your eyebrows is crooked now. Because the line I put it there. It's, it's, it looks jagged. From here. Don't don't go up no more. Just clean the line up. I got I got to remember to raise my eyebrow. Yeah. Because I don't be doing that. That's what makes it look professionally done. 
you need to put the the eyebrow pencil back up here because you took off too much in the front. Mm -hmm. That's the angle that your eyebrow should be pointing to, not down here. Right. But you're missing a piece of eyebrow. You need to go back and fill that part in. After you finish, you, I do one eyebrow at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, not out of town. One eyebrow at a time. Mm -hmm. So you can perfect one at a time. When you start hopping over, one, going woo woo woo, that's when stuff get a little. That's when you start looking like. That's when you start. A bag of play though. Yeah, that's when okay. you start looking crazy as hell. Right now, she's blending out her concealer, y'all. Yeah, blend down that concealer. Because you do not want to be out here looking like. Um, like you just do some stuff on your face and then did not blend. You gotta blend everything when it comes to makeup. That's what I've been learning. Blend everything, even if it looked like you are good. Go back in and blend it again. You might not can tell, but the other folks can tell that your stuff ain't blended. That one you need to f go up some more. You got all this excess black go, stuff. Go some more with some concealer. Mm -hmm. Blend it into your skin, honey. Now my eyebrow look, one is up, one is down. So you know what I'm about to do with my eyebrow pencil? These are the eyebrows. Once you finish putting your concealer on and you like your eyebrows, do you like your eyebrows? I do, because I don't see, you know, before I used to put the, the concealer, I'm like, damn, why the hell is still look? I can still see. Because you ain't blended. Right. Look, let me, look at me, let me see. This one looks like your eyebrow is going down. I told you it needs to go to the highest point of your cheekbone. You see how this one is that is yeah, but, it, I, but it, I ain't I ain't never fixed this eyebrow anyway. I just left the way it was. Well, why you want to leave like that? Your eyebrows is the most important. Yeah, they are, but I just feel like and that it, one looks fine. This one looks like the the end of the so eyebrow. So what, 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 what I have to take some off? Mm -hmm. I just need turn to... face me. I can't see. You need to arch, and the pencil needs to go straight towards your highest point of your cheekbone. Not all the way over there, but the angle needs to be towards that way. And then you need to clean it up because it looks like it's going down towards your eyes. So I need to bring the pencil up. And not down. Towards your highest point of your cheekbone. For me, I feel like that's what looks better with our face structure. I don't know what these other girls be doing, but I don't like when eyebrows look like they going into the eye. It needs to go. While she's doing that, y'all, I'm gonna add my brow gel. I mean, that'll have to do. Yeah. You're gonna have to keep practicing on them eyebrows, I am. honey. Cause see, some days I be the bomb with my eyebrows. And How? I don't days, know because I think you eat like you look like you eat kids. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. Put, oh, what bra gel? Like, are you recording that for your video? That's 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 correct. Get, get on your Zoom. Get on my Zoom. Stay on your Zoom. Mm -hmm. um, come in so they can see our eyebrows, brand. I'm using the Huda Beauty Face Base Brush. Show them what you are gonna use. This is the Expert Face Brush RT. 200 this one is the ultimate blending brush so she can go back in with this to make sure all of her foundation is blended in with the concealer too so invest in some good quality brushes y'all because it will make or break your makeup i'm going to be using my fenty ease drop in the number 16. she has 18 i have 16. it's a skin tint it's not really foundation so if you're going for a more natural beat down look but you still want to look like yourself and not look like you're doing too much baby get the the ease drop or a tinted moisturizer apparently it's not sanitary to put it on your face but baby I'm, I'm i'm whatever i do what i do you can start off doing half your face to make sure you know what you want to put on your face mm -hmm. and you start off by blending just do one side at a time you can go underneath your eye too because the concealer gonna go right up there natural beat go ahead and do half your face ma'am i don't really put makeup on my forehead i do like a little bronzer up there but i'm not a forehead makeup kind of girl i'll put a little bit i'll put whatever's left over on my brush on my forehead yep. so how did i blend it's blended honey um, it's it like you grew it mm. <laughs> not you grew the makeup <laughs> Make sure you bring it around town on that neck part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me see. You need to blend down to your neck. And you got a little pimple on your forehead. Did yeah. you put some up there? I did. I you did. might want to put some foundation up there just because you got a little bum bump. That's crazy. I never seen you get a pimple at all. Oh, I, I thought I was the only one who had bumps on my face. I get them from somebody go right away. You need to blend into the hair. 
to the hairline. Otherwise, you will never see. Okay. All Blend right. Up. Tell me. Mm -hmm. Tell me to get those in those jeans. Let me see. Look at look. Look at me. <laughs> you play way too much. What movie is that? Girl, Dream Girls. We are Dream, dream girls. girls. Next up, we're gonna do this concealer so we can go ahead on and add this lip and go to these stores because I'm excited now the stores will not be in this video y'all will have to come back tomorrow to see day four of vlogtober but i am using the toasted almond faux filter concealer by huda beauty oh this is what i learned about concealer mm -hmm. if you have like hollow eyes we don't really but you can still see we have where the bags would start at mm -hmm. you want to do a triangle but you don't want to put concealer all the way underneath here let me show you what i learned so is this, is this gonna be your highlight or this gonna be your regular I don't use regular concealer because I feel like. So, so you just go ahead and highlight your eye? Yeah, I just go ahead and highlight. Oh, okay. But you should go in with a regular one. I just don't have a regular one. I went in with the moisturizer and put it underneath my eye, which is fine as well. But you should go in first with your regular one. Okay. That's just going to cover up your dark spot. All right. I don't feel like my under eye is that dark mm -hmm. anyway. So, I don't, this is just like a regular everyday type of vibe. So, you're going to do like a. Are you looking? Are you paying attention? Yes. Or you want to fill the class? No, I don't want to fill. Okay. <laughs> you do like a little. Now this can be after you do your eye. You don't you're not doing eyeshadow, so add a little bit right here, a little bit right here, and then you add a little bit right there. Because so, if you put it up there, it's gonna draw attention to the underneath your eye. But listen at this. So when I put my regular, I don't do I just go ahead and just do my regular. Yeah, the regular go all underneath there. Okay. But when you do the highlight, you wanna draw you wanna bring the attention to somewhere else other than the bags underneath your eye. I'm gonna have to put. Yeah, I don't, I don't have. I don't have trash bags in mine. You do. You can see the line. I said hollow, not bags. Okay. The hollow. I'm just saying I don't have bags. You don't need bags. You have a hollow. I can see where you see that Thank line. Thank you, baby. You see that line? Mm. That can that can be dealt with. Thank you. You blend, 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 and then you gonna bring it around. Fade it out. You let it fade out to where the bag is at, <laughs> but you don't want it to focus over there. Clean this up. <laughs> oh wow! I need to find my. Oh, there we go. Mhm. Mm the brightest points is where we placed it at at the beginning. Look at that! I, oh, sl wow. I slept all night. Oh wow! So then you come back over here. You you clean that up with the. The setting powder and your blush oh, okay. and your contour. But right now it's all about the conceal. At the cheekbone, yep. And then the corners. Right here. Mm-hmm. The bam. Bam. Ooh. I ate that ass up. Swedish Fenty Beauty. Y'all already know the vibes. And I have espresso. Yeah, she has espresso. When you're doing a contour, like a fish. Mm. Or, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> if you want, you could go, you see how the shadow, you gotta, the contours for your shadows is already there. Okay. So, your contour for your nose, it goes for a little bit underneath that little bone, underneath the eyebrow, mm -hmm. down to the nose. So, I like to go, when I'm feeling risque, when I feel like I got Time to clean up my mess. And you want to blend it out, but you gonna go back and put some concealer on the nose. On the nose, I just do like a little bit. You don't want too much because you don't need that much. Want to make sure you didn't start creasing yet. No. No, nobody told you to go way down yonder. Take that off. Matter of fact, you ain't gotta take it off. G give me your brush. You went way left. It's supposed to go, the the, the bone right there, mm -hmm. it goes that way. Who told you to do that? You right now, we're about to bake underneath our eye. I'm gonna use, we're both gonna use Huda mm -hmm. Beauty because Fran didn't get one yesterday. So she's gonna use Kunafa Easy Bake. And I'm gonna use the Cherry Blossom Cake, which is like a pink ish type of vibe now you gonna watch me precisely and then you gonna copy exactly what i do um mm -hmm. before you bake go back underneath your eye to make sure nothing started creasing 
and one at a time so it doesn't fold again and you ain't got to do too much right where it starts to crease mm -hmm. anywhere i put my bake wherever i put concealer at also if you want to make sure you define that contour so I need, I need to get one of those brushes too, huh? I mean, yes, one of those, yeah. Because I, well, this came with my little class, so. But yeah, get one of those. These work really good. But for now, what, can, can I just use? And we will be taking a photo like this so I can let the people know we have a new video <laughs> live on my YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's giving handsome Squidward, baby. Ooh. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. You'll get more precise later on the more you do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, sometimes you just gotta let people wear the art they create <laughs> until they get sick of looking like how they look. <laughs> now, we're about to uh, take this off and then I'm gonna just go over it lightly with my MAC. Uh, I done had this so long, child, I don't even know what the name of it is, but I'm gonna go, I call this like a fluff brush because it kind of like just spreads very well. that from underneath the eye. Mm-hmm. Clean up any mess that I might have made. <laughs> I'll go back in with my little one-two. And I'm also gonna go back in with my Sephora bronzer. I might be out of order with this, but whatever. It be looking the same every time I do it. I'm gonna go back in with my blush. Now with the blush, you wanna use a blush brush, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And um, I tilt it this way. So I use liquid or powder. I'm gonna stick with the powder today. And I have Fenty Beauty Baked Peach Bookie. I'm gonna go up. Not down. Blush should not be on your on the front part. Blush down. Brush up. Or mine. Not me talking like I know what I'm doing. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm out here. The blind leading the blind. Pretty much. <laughs> then my Sephora bronzer, baby. You go and you fill in the blanks, honey. Oh, I forgot to get my new lipsticks out of the room. Let I'm using see. one size on till dawn. I need my stuff on till dawn. Not on till dawn. Okay, I didn't see the part with the with you did that blush. So show me what you took blushing. One, two, three. One. No, that's too low. That's on your cheek. Right here. Blush does not go on your cheek. You need to blend up. You see how this is an angled brush? Yeah. The thicker part goes towards your cheek. The thinner part goes up. Because you want to. Y'all, she left her uh, on till down in the house. And I don't play about my product. You're not about to waste my product. So, I'm going to spray. Breathe. Woo! Yeah, that's all you getting out of me, baby. And if you need any more, go get your own. Baby. One size, if you see this. Can y'all send me some of this? Send me some, too. Send me about 12 bottles of these. <laughs> Last but not least, y'all. Well, not last because she wants to put on a highlighter. But it's now no, you no, 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 now no, you're no, not no, even no, giving no, natural no, no more. You're giving like you want to do this a, a beat face. Um, maybe next video. I went to Mac yesterday because I was looking for the stone lipstick. Never knew that they were discontinued. So I ended up trying to find a dupe for it. Didn't have any luck, but I do have the stone lip liner. So we will be using that today. This is a cute little natural. Now the only thing I did forget was mascara. I need to re up. Cause I like my bottom lashes to look for field. We have stone. What lip line are you using? I'm using coffee, coffee bean, bean. Yep. by Julia's Place. Yep. I'm going for my mirror. All in my face. Cause I tried on that other one last night. I bought from Sephora. I don't know what it was and I do add a little booty right here with my lip liner. Because I like my lips to have definition. I don't like my lips to look. Hold on now, let me put my lipstick on. Oh, I didn't know the Sephora is shimmery in the light. Hmm. Number 15. Hmm, I do kind of like that. 
And of course, you go back with your lip liner. And you clean it up. I'm just going to set this whole combination off. Good. My Morph, Morphe Cosmetics. You only put this in the middle of your lip, though. Because it's too nude. Alright, let me see your lip liner. Period, queen. Did you blend it? Let me see. Turn around. Top lip is not all the way lined. It looks like you put more lip liner in your lip than on your line of That's probably because I put, put my lips together. What lipstick are you putting on? What lip? You putting on a gloss or a lipstick? I'm putting on a gloss latte by Anastasia. Let's hold it up. You need to blend the liner. It's giving the 90s auntie, the whole auntie. Mm -hmm. Salt the, and pepper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. No, you need to. Okay. It's still like a line. Because you're not blending. You need to blend down with the liner. You're blending up. That bottom one needs to be blended, ma'am. Up, blend up, not to the side. Put a little more gloss in the middle. Look into the camera, please. As long as you like it. That's what I'm doing. All right, y'all, this is the finishing look. This is her first time. Come back in 30 days and see how she has improved. Mm. I'll be an MUA then. Now, I might as well go and book my girl now mm -hmm. because when she get booked and busy. Because I got a whole bag. Yeah, she got a makeup bag now. Like so. I'm, I'm already MUA. Yeah, so go and get in when y'all can. What you want? No. Mama. Ooh. You just start doing your makeup better. <sighs>